In mathematics, especially in applications of linear algebra to physics, the Einstein notation or Einstein summation convention is a notational convention that implies summation over a set of index terms in a formula, thus achieving notational brevity. As part of mathematics it is a notational subset of Ricci calculus, however, it is often used in applications in physics that do not distinguish between tangent and cotangent spaces. It was introduced to physics by Albert Einstein in 1916. Topic: Introduction. Topic: Statement of convention. According to this convention, when an index variable appears twice in a single term and is not otherwise defined, see free and bound variables, it implies summation of that term over all the values of the index. So where the indices can range over the set 1, 2, 3, y equals i equals 1 3 c i x i equals c 1 x 1 plus c 2 x 2 plus C three x three display style y equals sum underscore i equals one carrot three c underscore i x carrot i equals c underscore one x carrot one plus c underscore two x carrot two plus c underscore three x carrot three is simplified by the convention to y equals c i x i display style y equals c underscore i x caret i. The upper indices are not exponents, but are indices of coordinates, coefficients, or basis vectors. That is, in this context, x two should be understood as the second component of x rather than the square of x. This can occasionally lead to ambiguity. The upper index position in Xi is because, typically, an index occurs once in an upper superscript and once in a lower subscript position in a term see application below. And typically x1, x2, x3 would be equivalent to the traditional x, y, z. In general relativity, a common convention is that the Greek alphabet is used for space and time components, where indices take on values 0, 1, 2, or 3 frequently used letters are mu, nu. The Latin alphabet is used for spatial components only, where indices take on values 1, 2, or 3 frequently used letters are i, j In general, indices can range over any indexing set, including an infinite set. This should not be confused with a typographically similar convention used to distinguish between tensor index notation and the closely related but distinct basis independent abstract index notation. An index that is summed over is a summation index, in this case. I. It is also called a dummy index since any symbol can replace I without changing the meaning of the expression provided that it does not collide with index symbols in the same term. An index that is not summed over is a free index and should appear only once per term. If such an index does appear, it usually also appears in terms belonging to the same sum, with the exception of special values such as zero. Application Einstein notation can be applied in slightly different ways. Typically, each index occurs once in an upper superscript and once in a lower subscript position in a term, however, the convention can be applied more generally to any repeated indices within a term. When dealing with covariant and contravariant vectors, where the position of an index also indicates the type of vector, the first case usually applies, a covariant vector can only be contracted with a contravariant vector, corresponding to summation of the products of coefficients. On the other hand, when there is a fixed coordinate basis or when not considering coordinate vectors, one may choose to use only subscripts, see section superscripts and subscripts versus only subscripts below. topic vector representations topic superscripts and subscripts versus only subscripts 
In terms of covariance and contravariance of vectors, upper indices represent components of contravariant vectors, vectors. Lower indices represent components of covariant vectors, covectors. They transform contravariantly or covariantly, respectively, with respect to change of basis. In recognition of this fact, the following notation uses the same symbol both for a vector or covector and its components, as in v equals v i e i equals e one e two e n v one v Two V N W equals W I E I equals W one W two W N E one E two E N display style V equals V carrot I E underscore I equals begin B matrix E underscore one and E underscore two and C D O T S and E underscore N end B matrix begin B matrix V carrot one V carrot two V D O T S V carrot N end B matrix Q quad W equals W underscore I E carrot I equals begin B matrix W underscore one and W underscore two and C D O T S and W underscore Score N and B matrix begin B matrix E carrot one E carrot two V D O T S E carrot N and B matrix where V is the vector and V I are its components, not the I T H covector V, W is the covector and Y are its components. Note that the basis vector elements E I display style E underscore I are each column vectors, and the covector basis elements E I display style E carrot I are each row covectors. See also abstract description, duality, below and https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash dual underscore basis hash examples closing parenthesis in the presence of a non-degenerate form an isomorphism VV, for instance a Riemannian metric or Minkowski metric, one can raise and lower indices. A basis gives such a form via the dual basis, hence when working on N with a Euclidean metric and a fixed orthonormal basis, one has the option to work with only subscripts. However, if one changes coordinates, the way that coefficients change depends on the variance of the object, and one cannot ignore the distinction. See covariance and contravariance of vectors. Topic mnemonics in the above example, vectors are represented as n times one matrices, column vectors, while covectors are represented as one times n matrices, row covectors. When using the column vector convention, upper indices go up to down, lower indices go left to right. Covariant tensors are row vectors that have indices that are below, co-row below. Covectors are row vectors W1 WK. Display style begin B matrix W underscore one and C D O T S and W underscore K end B matrix. Hence the lower index indicates which column you are in. Contravariant vectors are column vectors V one V K display style begin B matrix V carrot one V D O T S V carrot K end B matrix. Hence the upper index indicates which row you are in. Topic Abstract description. The virtue of Einstein notation is that it represents the invariant quantities with a simple notation. In physics, a scalar is invariant under transformations of basis. In particular, a Lorentz scalar is invariant under a Lorentz transformation. The individual terms in the sum are not. When the basis is changed, the components of a vector change by a linear transformation described by a matrix. This led Einstein to propose the convention that repeated indices imply the summation is to be done. As for covectors, they change by the inverse matrix. This is designed to guarantee that the linear function associated with the covector, the sum above, is the same no matter what the basis is. The value of the Einstein convention is that it applies to other vector spaces built from V using the tensor product and duality. For example, VV, the tensor product of V with itself, has a basis consisting of tensors of the form Eij equals Aej. Any tensor T in VV can be written as T equals T I J E I J display style math BF T equals T carrot I J math BF e underscore I J 
V asterisk the dual of V has a basis E1 E2 n which obeys the rule E I E J equals delta J I display style math bf e caret i math bf e underscore j equals delta underscore j caret i where delta is the kronecker delta as hom v w equals v w display style operator name hom v w equals v caret asterisk o times w the row column coordinates on a matrix correspond to the upper lower indices on the tensor product topic <laughs> common operations in this notation in einstein notation the usual element reference amn for the mth row and nth column of matrix a becomes amn we can then write the following operations in einstein notation as follows Inner product, hence also vector dot product, using an orthogonal basis, the inner product is the sum of corresponding components multiplied together. U v equals u j v j. Display style math bf u c d o t math bf v equals u underscore j v caret j. This can also be calculated by multiplying the covector on the vector. Vector cross product again using an orthogonal basis in three dimensions. The cross product intrinsically involves summations over permutations of components. U times v equals epsilon i j k u j v K E I display style math bf u times math bf v equals var epsilon caret i underscore j k u caret j v caret k math bf e underscore i where epsilon i j k equals delta i l epsilon L J K display style var epsilon caret i underscore J K equals delta caret il var epsilon underscore L J K epsilon i J K is the Levi Civita symbol and delta il is the generalized Kronecker delta. Based on this definition of epsilon, there is no difference between epsilon i J K and epsilon i J K, but the position of indices. Matrix vector multiplication the product of a matrix A i j with a column vector v j is u i equals a v i equals j equals one n a i j v j Display style math bf u underscore i equals math bf a math bf v underscore i equals sum underscore j equals one carrot n a underscore i j v underscore j equivalent to u i equals a i j v j Display style u caret i equals a caret i underscore j v caret j. This is a special case of matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication the matrix product of two matrices a i j and b j k is c i k equals a b i k equals j equals 1 n a i j b j k 
Display style Math BF C underscore ik equals Math BF a Math BF B underscore ik equals sum underscore J equals one. Carrot N A underscore I J B underscore J K equivalent to C I K equals A I J B J K Display style C carrot I underscore K equals a carrot I underscore J B carrot J underscore K Trace for a square matrix A I J, the trace is the sum of the diagonal elements, hence the sum over a common index A. Outer product the outer product of the column vector U I by the row vector V J yields an M times N matrix A A I J equals U I V J equals U V I J Display style a carrot I underscore J equals U carrot I V underscore J equals U V carrot I underscore J Since I and J represent two different indices, there is no summation and the indices are not eliminated by the multiplication. Raising and lowering in dice given a tensor, one can raise an index or lower an index by contracting the tensor with the metric tensor, Gmn. For example, take the tensor T ab, one can raise an index T mu alpha equals G mu sigma T sigma alpha Display style t caret mu alpha equals g caret mu sigma t underscore sigma caret alpha, or one can lower an index t mu beta equals g mu sigma t sigma beta. Display style t underscore mu beta equals g underscore mu sigma t caret sigma underscore beta. Topic. See also. Tensor. Abstract index notation. Bracket notation. Penrose graphical notation. Kronecker delta. Levi Civita symbol. Jewett notation. Topic Notes. This applies only for numerical indices. The situation is the opposite for abstract indices. Then, vectors themselves carry upper abstract indices and covectors carry lower abstract indices, as per the example in the introduction of this article. Elements of a basis of vectors may carry a lower numerical index and an upper abstract index. <laughs> <laughs>